Good morning, welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Yet another cloudy day this morning. Had ceilings around 400 feet at the moment, seeing some mist in the area with uh, visibility at five statute miles. Um, expecting to see the chance of a few sprinkles and light rain continue up until about the noon hour, as we have seen some pass through the area since uh, the 8 a.m. briefing. Otherwise, we have some east-northeast light winds around 7 to 8 knots. Temperatures holding at about 63 right now. And we'll see those temperatures start to warm up a little bit as we go throughout the day today. If we take a look at the current surface analysis, we have what's left of that low-pressure system to our south. It should start to weaken as we go throughout the day today. Um, and we'll see the winds start to shift to become more southerly as we go into the late afternoon and evening. And... Uh, that will help bring in some warmer air ahead of the system out to the west associated with a upper level trough and cutoff low that will be digging into the central part of the country and moving eastward as we get into our Friday bringing us a chance of some showers and thunderstorms as we get into our Friday evening uh, right now to the storm prediction center has us under a slight risk of seeing some severe weather mainly uh, due to seeing some hail and uh, or a chance of seeing some hail, but more likely chance of seeing some fairly strong winds with some strong thunder, some of the stronger thunderstorms as we get into Friday evening. If we look at the uh, upper level winds from this morning's balloon sounding, uh, fairly light winds through the column, uh, east to southerly uh, in the lowest 6,000 feet, becoming more westerly to west southwesterly as we go up through the column. The peak wind is at 25,000 feet at 17 knots. And the freezing level is at 13,600 feet. Quick look at the local radar. We do see some of those uh, reflectivity coming back from some of those lighter showers and sprinkles that moved through the area uh, not long ago. And right now I'm not seeing uh, the rain at the moment, but again, just off the coast. And we could continue to see a few light sprinkles move through as we go throughout the AM hours today. If we take a look at the visible satellite and composite radar, we do see that shower activity well off to our west. Again, not expecting any of that make it into the area until we get into our uh, Friday late afternoon and e evening and overnight hours. But plenty of cloud material in the area. You can see that circulation of what's of uh, that low pressure just to the south. And we'll continue to see these low clouds probably throughout the day today. Uh, might see a chance of a few breaks in the clouds as we get into the late afternoon, but it would be very brief likely before those clouds start to thicken up again into the overnight hours. If we take a look at the high resolution short term model, this is a composite reflectivity and cloud cover. As we go throughout the day again, we can see those few uh, slight chance of seeing those showers move through. It should be north of Wallops as we get into the early part of the afternoon and we should remain fairly dry. We'll just keep a slight to very slight chance of seeing a passing sprinkle as we go through the rest of our day and into the overnight hours. But again, contending with those low clouds as we go throughout the day today, likely seeing those low ceilings continue and uh, thicken as we go into the overnight hours and into the early morning hours of Friday, maybe even seeing a chance of some mist and maybe some fog uh, early Friday early Friday but uh, and then we'll see things start to break up briefly uh, fairly dry for the first part of Friday slight chance of seeing maybe a passing shower or light sprinkle um, otherwise mostly cloudy and then we'll see those clouds build back in as that cold front starts to move into the area looking like uh, we should see those showers start to move into the area as we get into the latest part of the afternoon and early evening and then pushing through uh, over the midnight hour and starting to clear out as we get past the midnight hour and just having a few chances of some showers still in the area as we go through the early morning hours of Saturday morning. Again, we are under a slight risk of some severe weather, so we could see some of those showers become quite heavy at times and maybe even a few heavier thunderstorms with some gusty winds associated with those storms and uh, so it should be quite some active weather as we go through the air uh, through our Friday evening but then things should start to clear out as we get in the 
Saturday morning behind that front, shower chances should start to diminish with a chance of a light shower in the area early Saturday, uh, early in the day on Saturday, but we should see the clouds start to break up a bit. If we zoom out and look at the European model for the longer term forecast, this is has the front uh, pushed off the coast by late Saturday morning and we should expect things to be fairly nice for our Saturday as we progress throughout the day and we got better agreement with that upper level trough and upper level low uh, looking to exit to the northeast fairly swiftly throughout the day on Saturday but we will ha see a chance of a few pop-up showers for our Saturday afternoon uh, but other than that it should be a fairly nice day and as that front continues to push out of the area and the trough continues to move to the northeast, <coughs> we'll see high pressure start to build in behind and we'll see a very nice day and end of the weekend and beginning of the next week ahead of us as high pressure kind of dominates everything and keeps the skies fairly clear and everything fairly dry for the most part as we go throughout the beginning of next week and the end of the uh, holiday weekend. So, if we take a look at the 24 hour weather risk chart, had bumped up the colors since this morning for this 8 to 12 local time frame with the red for precip and red for the ceilings below 500 feet because we have seen those conditions uh, so far this morning. Otherwise, we'll uh, go green for weather risk as we go into the afternoon um, and early evening again with just a slight to very slight chance of a, a passing light rain drizzle but much of that should be north of our area as we get into the afternoon we'll see things warm up a little bit with highs in the low 70s today winds staying fairly light uh, picking up to 8 to 13 knots out of the east southeast and shifting more southeasterly as we go throughout the day could see a few gusts up to 17 knots but otherwise we'll see those winds continue to shift to become more southerly through the overnight hours. Things cool down, but not much, just a bit down to about a low of 64. And we'll see some uh, chances of, again, we'll continue contending with some low clouds throughout the day, but we'll see those low clouds uh, become a little thicker as we go into the overnight hours. So we do have that yellow risk picking up uh, after 8 local p.m. as we go throughout the overnight and early morning Friday hours with a chance of also seeing some mist or maybe even some fog in the area. But as we get into our Friday, we'll have a start off mostly cloudy with some breaks in the cloud and then we'll see those clouds build in, becoming overcast ahead and as that front starts to approach the area. We'll see a breezy day for Friday with some uh, breezy southerly winds and uh, we'll have a slight chance of some light rain early but then again as that system approaches we'll have a better chance of seeing some rain showers and thunderstorms again could be heavy at times possibility for some strong to maybe even some severe thunderstorms as uh, again the storm prediction center has us in that slight risk of severe weather warmer day much warmer day with a high of 77 so we do have the orange for precip and lightning in the area again the main event will be happening as we get into the later part of the afternoon have a yellow risk for a wind advisory as well because uh, we'll see some breezy conditions and as well as whenever we see some of those showers and stronger thunderstorms move through we do have a good chance of seeing some uh, stronger wind gusts associated with those and we also have the yellow risk for seeing some reduced ceilings and visibilities as we go into the later afternoon and evening Friday evening we'll see those showers and thunderstorms continue uh, chance of thunderstorms will diminish first and then we'll see the rain chances start to diminish as we go through the overnight hours and after midnight uh, becoming you know, more, more scattered in nature for the showers as we get into Saturday morning so we do have a red risk for precip Friday night as we expect the bulk of the uh, showers to be moving through during the overnight hours. Uh, we have the orange risk for seeing some lightning that will be in the early hours of Friday evening and then we'll see uh, we'll keep those chances for a wind advisory and reduce visibility and ceilings with those storms moving through. 
as we get into our Saturday, should see things become quite nice for the holiday weekend. Again, mostly to partly cloudy, and we'll have a slight chance of some lingering rain showers early, and then we'll chance of a isolated shower in the area during the afternoon, uh, which with that upper level trough kind of moving off and some heating of the surface uh, and a slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm in the area, slightly breezy. Even warmer day with a high of 78. Again, we have that yellow for seeing a slight chance of some light rain and a slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm in the area. Looking at the extended forecast, again, expecting the end of the holiday work week weekend, or excuse me, the holiday weekend to be quite nice with some temperatures in the upper 70s. Should see high pressure start to build in, keeping things mostly sunny for our Sunday and Monday lows in the lower 60s. And as we get into the beginning of the work week next week, uh, we'll see some upper level bridging and some warmer air uh, really cranking up as we get into the week, seeing temperatures into the 80s, the lower to mid 80s as we go throughout our Tuesday and Wednesday. But again, mostly sunny with some uh, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, highs are lows in the mid to upper 60s, and we'll keep an eye on the chance of a few pop-up showers as we get into the uh, middle of the week with that uh, with those clear skies and that surface heating. Otherwise, that will wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.